Hi there, I don't want to waste your time, so let's just get right into it. I have been researching extensively on Mac batteries for a couple of months now. I have come up with strange and useful findings that worth sharing. These findings apply on M1 Mac as the new M1 architecture consumes very less battery and at least 40% increase the battery life compared to Intel Macs. Also, these findings apply on older version of Intel Macs as well. Before I jump into the main findings, it's very important to understand the battery life cycle or in Mac it's called cycle count. Let me quickly open the system information so I can show you guys what I'm talking all about. Head over to the top left corner, click on Apple logo, click on about this Mac. You guys can see that I have M1 MacBook Pro with 16 GB RAM. Open system reports. From the left menu under hardware section, look for the power option. Click on it. Over here under battery information, look for the cycle count. So now let's discuss and understand what is a cycle count. As per Apple, when you use your Mac notebook, its battery goes through charge cycle. A charge cycle happens when you use all of the battery's power. But that doesn't necessarily mean a single charge. For example, you could use half of your Mac's charge in one day and then recharge it fully. If you did the same thing the next day, it would count as one charge cycle, not two. In this way, it might take several days to complete a cycle. Batteries have limited amount of charge cycles before their performance is expected to diminish. Once the cycle count is reached, a replacement battery is recommended to maintain performance. You can use your battery after it reaches its maximum cycle count. But you might notice a reduction in your battery life, knowing how many charge cycles your battery has and how many are left can help you determine when a battery replacement is required. Your battery is designed to retain up to 80% of its original charge capacity at its maximum cycle count. For the best performance, replace your battery when you reach its maximum cycle count. The 2020 M1 MacBook Pro and Mac here both have the 1000 cycle counts. Then you will need to change the battery. As you guys can see that my Mac cycle count is 4, which means the battery was charged 4 times. So remember, Apple support page says 1000 cycle counts for a battery. As mentioned earlier, I'm using this Mac for about a month. So if you do the math, 1 month 4 cycle counts. 1000 divided by 4 cycle in a month is 250 months. And if we convert it to years, it will be 20 years. But of course, I won't be using this Mac for 20 years or it won't be always 4 cycle count a month. It will always fluctuate. But I hope you guys understood what a cycle count is. And the key point is to keep the cycle count low. Now let's talk about the findings. Based on the few research articles that I found, their findings also indicate that it should be noted that the battery will degrade even when plugged in. Nothing can stop a battery from degrading over time. It doesn't matter if you leave your laptop plugged in or even if you shut down your laptop, unplug the power cord and don't use it for months and years. The battery will still degrade. It is the rate at which it degrades you are trying to impact due to the circuitry in the laptop that protects the battery. Keeping it plugged in as much as possible is the best practice for the longest battery life. I have found that keeping your Mac connected to a power source all the time is healthy for battery life. The moment you connect your Mac to a power source, the Mac will bypass the battery and only use the power source energy. That means, when your Mac is connected to the power source, your battery is resting at that time. As I am always next to a power source, so I decided to use my Mac with power connected all the time. And now, you might think that then why there are 4 cycle counts? So, as Apple recommends to completely discharge the battery once a month, I decided to discharge it once a week and rest of the week it is connected to the power source. This is why about a month use, 
my MacBook has only four cycle counts. Of course, if you keep it connected with the power source, you will sort of lose the mobility of your Mac. But if you care about the battery, then just keep it connected most of the times. Now, this is not the case for everyone. And for the power users, there are few important factors that also do matter, such as the temperature that you are charging your Mac. If the temperature is above 35 degrees or below 10, it's also unhealthy for a battery. If you want to preserve your battery life as much as possible, you actually should leave it plugged in as much as possible. Your MacBook has circuitry to protect the battery from over or under charging. So you never have to worry about leaving it plugged in too much or even leaving it unplugged too much. In fact, the far more important thing is to minimize cycle count. As we discussed the cycle counts earlier in this video, so the more you minimize the cycle counts, the longer your battery will last. And the only way possible to do so is plug it in as much as possible. Alright guys, that's all from my side. I hope that all makes sense to you. If you guys find this video informative, give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if this video helps you, let us know in the comment section below. I'm your host Faisal. Until then, peace.